Good morning, everybody. I'm Frida Stopper. Um, I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast. I'm having um, radishes. I'm going to slice them. And I'm going to dip them in some softened butter. It's been laying out, so it's soft, room temperature. And this is actually, I've seen um, some movie or show. Um, the main characters were went to a restaurant and they were eating. It might have been a cooking show, I don't know. But they were eating uh, radishes dipped in butter as an appetizer. And it's a French thing. So um, that looked good to me because I like both butter and uh, radishes. So sometimes I make myself a butter and um, radish sandwich. But I haven't been using keto bread very much lately the, uh, ever since um, last week when I decided to restart on keto I've been eating like this and I've lost five pounds in one week so um, I have 19 more to go <laughs> Bismillah This is good Irish butter. Um, but yeah, mm. I'm excited. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to make it to the zip line this fall. Mm. I hope I do. <laughs> if I don't, there'll be a lot of uh, embarrassment because I had a year to do it. And this is my coffee. Just coffee with heavy whipping cream and um, somewhere I have some um, somewhere I have some um, pumpkin spice stevia drops but this is just cinnamon stevia drops I didn't try this yet so I want to try it this morning yesterday I tried the pumpkin spice it was okay I guess I would have had to put more in to taste it more but I don't want to, that much stevia. <laughs> um, so I'm going to see how the cinnamon one tastes. Um, maybe I should buy some coffee that also has pumpkin spice flavor in it. Oh my, <laughs> I like that. This coffee is cold. I just, I brewed it yesterday, but um, I don't mind. I always brew the whole pot so it's there when I want it. Yeah, it's perfectly, perfectly flavored with that. Um, those stevia drops. Um, heavy, I've been eating and uh, I've been using heavy whipping cream and butter and olive oil and uh, coconut oil all week long and bacon grease. Um, and I eat a lot of uh, low carb vegetables with high um, fat. Because um, if if you don't want to get 
an overload of protein because um, of kidney issues or other issues then that's a the good uh, that is a good uh, method of of um, keto um, in fact the original keto that I was according to what I was reading yesterday just not in it is low in protein 70% fat and like 15% pro protein and and a very small percent of carbs so And I've lost five pounds in a week, so I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> if I get less than 260, I'm going to be so happy. 260 is my goal weight. And if I get down to less than that, it'll be good. I'm planning to stay on it like this until... My birthday, which is September 12. On that day, because it's my birthday, I'm going to have something sweet with sugar in it. I have, I have had cake on birthdays and ice cream, and I have, I kept losing weight, so... Right now, I've lost 70 pounds. 70 pounds? Yeah, 70 pounds. Yeah, 70 pounds. <laughs> it's true, 70 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe. No? 60? Yeah, 60. 60 pounds, not 70 yet. 60 pounds. The total what goal was a eighty pounds or eighty five pounds since I started. I uh, think I was having I was having too many. Um, it was kind of slow during the summer when the kids were here, but and I was having too many. Um, Keto bread. I mean, they are low carb and also some keto cookies and things. But I, I, those are like not for everyday eating. No, well, I'm gonna go now. I'm probably gonna work in the in the sunroom today. I worked in the plant room for hours yesterday repotting a lot of things and watering everything and today I want to repot um, that one I got from Kroger with five or six different plants in it <laughs> how much more do you normally I have some coffee here with some uh, heavy whipping cream and I put some of these uh, pumpkin spice stevia drops in it I got it from Amazon and it has zero calories, but it's pumpkin spice season. So I, I wanted something that I could have and that's mine. That's what I'm using. I tasted it and it tastes pretty good. Here are the ingredients that I used to make myself another keto electrolyte beverage. I'm having one a day because when you eat a high fat diet, you need the acid to help your body break it down, especially if you don't have a um, gallbladder. It has um, vinegar and lemon in it. The recipe is in my other video that I put 
up yesterday. I think, or no, it was the day before yesterday. I don't remember, <laughs> but you'll find it. It's one or two videos ago. It's the recipe for um, electrolyte beverages for keto dieters. And I'm, I have one every day because without it, I don't feel my best. When I f drink it, I immediately feel something in my brain. Uh, like a wake up or a light comes on or something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But uh, it's very, very helpful. It's refreshing and it gives me a boost for some reason. Hello, everybody. I'm Frida Stoffer and this is Zakia. Um, yeah. I went to the mall. So she's got a haul to share. I went, she, <laughs> I went to the mall and Ulta. Yes, I took her to Ulta and to walk through the mall. What did you get? I got from JC Penny. I got this Monday conditioner and shampoo. Yep. And I got. Show them the bag too. From Bath and Body Works, I got. He got this stuff. Yes, I got Chasing Fireflies Body Spray. And I got this this strawberry pancake shower gel. It smells so good. She likes berry scents. It smells like cake. I don't want to smell like cake when I shower, but you love it. And I got more from Bath and Body Works. Body you, mist. And you got this. Yes. Champagne toast. That smells kind of like grapefruit. That's a grapefruity smell. And from Ulta, I got, they only had minis, but I got this bubble slam dunk moisturizer. Yes. Can we see it? I'm going to open the box. It's vegan and cruelty free. They didn't have very many bubble products, but they did have the minis of, of this one. So and they had some sunscreen. It, and don't take the white part out, just pump. It's a shape a of a flower. flower. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, then you just take it off and put it on your face. <laughs> and I'm going to rub it in on my face. Never get drunk elephant because it's expensive and also if you get like a big thingy then there's a small little thingy inside it's just tiny on the inside even though the bottle is really big yeah and, and i got this touch band hand sanitizer spray. yes and this one is rose scented they have others too you gonna sanitize your hands spray it on mm, and then rub it in <laughs> smells like rose water smells awesome yeah that's a very cute little sanitizer and that thing that little hand sanitizer is kind of pricey it was 10 or 11 dollars 10.99 but yeah, she's that's what it looks like she's little miss big spender today and at, uh bath and body works had a, a sale these were 650 each instead of um uh, instead of regular price. The regular price on these is 17 1795 and 1895. And it's Labor Day, so but today's, today, so yeah. we got this so we got sales. Yes, today was Labor Day, so we got sales. 